tell you, this afternoon is absolutely flying by. We have time for just two more songs. And just a quick little story about this one. In the early days, Basie didn't have many charts, you know, where you, you read all the written notes on the pages. They just had what they called heads, which is jazz slang for no written arrangement, just memorize chords in a certain order. So the band was mostly improvising. And while at the Reno Club in Kansas City in 1935, Basie's band was called the Barons of Rhythm and were performing for regular radio broadcasts. And they never had a playlist and would often run out of songs before the end of the broadcast. Imagine that, what a pickle they'd be in. But I mean, these guys were so talented, uh, they just pulled it off. One night the announcer asked the count off the microphone, he said, hey, what's the next song? And the bassie said, I don't know, we're out of music. So when it was time to go on and play again, Basie just started playing something, and the announcer asked Basie on the air the name of the song. Basie just looked up at the clock, saw it was almost 1 a.m., so Basie said, call it the one o'clock jump. And, uh, and the riffs just stuck. And that is honestly how this tune uh, got its name uh, in 1937. It wasn't until years later, actually, after they had even recorded it, that they had a proper arrangement uh, written out for it, for what was to become one of their uh, most popular tunes, and they uh, usually ended every concert with this song, The One O'Clock Jump. One,